Good morning! I cannot believe it's almost Christmas! Today is Wednesday the 6th of December. The 6th of December. So this week I have just, well it's Wednesday already, but in the next week I have got so much going on. Literally the busiest week for uni and just like social media stuff like she's she's a she's a busy girl she's a busy girl so i thought i would just bring you along with me um so as i said it's nearly christmas so i've only got this week of uni like tomorrow is my last day of this week and then next week i said that so confusingly i finish uni next thursday in like eight days which is kind of terrifying because i've got like four assignments due by then um and i'm feeling a tiny bit unprepared but yeah so i've got a lot going on and I thought it would be quite fun to show how manic it is to be like a full-time content creator and a full-time uni student. Um, also, my skin is doing a little bit better to when I last filmed. I'm just gonna put you here whilst I tidy up my room. This week I've really tried to make my room a bit more Christmassy because especially being in like student accommodation there's not much room for decorations. So this is my little Christmassy thing. Acorn is giving Christmas right? Obviously earmuffs Christmassy. Marshmallows, you know hot chocolate marshmallows, we've got a Santa, we've got a reindeer. Here my granddad made this for me, how adorable. I bet he's written on the bottom of it, oh, of course he has. Christmas 2023. Then I also gone without knocking oh, anyone over. I also added some little fairy lights to, yeah, this is not aesthetic. But this is, yeah, oh, got one pillow out. But yeah, I feel like I'm just kind of rambling now, but I'm just sorting out my room. And then I need to kind of just do some uni work. Will I probably do that? No. But yeah, I need to also put on an outfit ready to go to my lash appointment. Hey guys, I've just got back. You can probably see my brows are very kind of intense right now. My lashes are also lifted. Um, it was a lovely experience. I've just got back to my free soul parcel and I also picked up some dinner on the way home. So I will show you both. another mango greens of course. I feel like the packaging feels different this month. I don't know. We've got a salted caramel protein powder and we have got a shaker. Obviously code life with meals gets you 15% off your orders at free salt. It's always linked in the description. I love them so much and I'm so glad I got a top up because I literally ran out of the protein powder two days ago and it's not been it's not been a good time but for dinner I got this juice which he kindly wrapped up for me so it didn't spill um it was a ginger carrot and orange juice super yummy and I got an acai bowl but I got a pineapple on which I think is very strange I was like, you know when you're just in the queue and then you just kind of pick whatever? I was in that kind of situation. But I really need something to drink. I'm so parched right now. And then I got an acai bowl. As I said, got it with pineapple. I think I was just craving something fresh. Mmm. Pineapple, goji berries, cacao nibs. Cacao nibs and almond butter. If you can see, the lighting is not amazing in here. But yeah, so I'm just going to eat this, probably watch some Netflix or YouTube or something, relax. And then this evening I have got a lot of work to do, but that's fine. I had my 
accounting call earlier. Um, really like ran over the time that I thought it was going to be so it meant that I had to run to my appointment which is why I didn't really talk to you before going into my appointment. Like when I say run, I was running. It was a little bit embarrassing but yeah I will talk to you in a bit. What do I want to watch? Oh, oh god if you guys love Virgin River they've brought out two holiday episodes. I'm so excited and I think there's also a new season of Selling Sunset. Maybe I'll watch that first because I feel like I want to leave the holiday episodes for Virgin River until closer to Christmas or maybe when I'm at home. Hey guys, <laughs> my hair looks crazy. It's in a plait. Oh, crazy. Anyway, I'm just about to go to bed. It's still the same day. I just wanted to show you my lashes or brows. They're going to look a bit crazy for the next day or so, I believe, um, until I can wash them. But yeah, tomorrow is my really super busy day, but I've already submitted the assignment, so that makes it a bit less busy. But I need to make content tomorrow at some point, so I think I am going to have to miss my first lecture. Because those are my priorities, content. So yeah, tomorrow's like a full uni day, plus an event, and then I'm seeing my friends straight after. So I don't know when I'm going to post, but I will post. Um, and then I have Friday to relax but yes yeah, so i thought i would just check in before i went to bed as i said it's the 6th of november it's wednesday today so i'll check in with you tomorrow which is thursday quick melt hi guys it is the next day um i spoke to you last night and i was saying about how i've got such a busy day got uni i didn't go i didn't go I had a nine till eleven and a one till three um, I woke up at quarter past nine, but like I didn't put my alarm on that. I just, my uni is just, I'm not going to say my uni's not good, but the lecturers aren't good. So I just feel like every time I go, I like it genuinely feels like a waste of time. So when I know I've got like a lot of stuff going on today and a lot of stuff to do, I mean, is this just me making excuses? I don't think so. Cause like everyone feels like this on my course, but then I feel like a lot of people feel like this at uni in general. So that was that, I didn't go. <laughs> I need to do some shopping today, as in like food shopping. Like I've got nothing to eat in the fridge and it's quarter to two. So I need to be having lunch, but I don't have any food. I don't have any food. Also, is it just me or is it like a wide lens? Do you feel really far away from me? I mean, if I put it on a wide lens, that's great. That's great. I just need to tidy up. I need to make my bed. <laughs> um, yeah, I just want to tidy up, make my bed. It's also freezing in here. My um, heater just doesn't work. Perks of uni. I'm really excited for the event later. So, um, I'm just jumping on here to make sure that you're aware that I'm going to a pure soul event because I'm feeling like I haven't actually referenced what event I'm excited for. But pure soul is basically, it's a bit like a space NK. Actually, no, that's a bad analogy. It's basically yes style in a shop form. So Pure Soul is like somewhere you can go to buy all of your Korean skincare. And they were opening one in Westfields in London. I was invited to, it wasn't the opening, it was like the day before the opening, but to go around, we got like, we got given a £50 voucher to get some stuff. We also got a goodie bag. Um, and yeah, it was really, it was really, really nice, but that's what I'm referencing. I hope that makes sense. And then I'm seeing my friend Alex after. Like, I'm so excited for the event. And I think we get a goodie bag. And I'm just excited to try some new skincare, especially Korean skincare. Like, I feel like I haven't even dipped my toe in the water. Um, and recently I've been using these two products from a brand that people are just starting to talk about, especially their sunscreen. And I think I'm going to work with them, which is really exciting because I just... I feel like, like, cause I've been, I haven't been doing this for a while, but obviously like having like suffered with my skin for the past nine years, obviously I've been learning a lot about skin, like I kind of knew everything there was to know about skincare. But now, obviously the Korean stuff isn't new, but like it's new for the Western world. Um, like we didn't know all of the stuff that people in Korea knew about skincare so it's like exciting to have stuff to learn and stuff to try and like different ingredients and stuff mostly just like stuff to introduce to my audience because I feel like people 
I don't know, I feel like people trust me, right? They trust my opinion on skincare and stuff, which is why, like, I don't do very many ads. Um, because there are certain brands that I want to work with. And, like, they're on a list. This is so random. But I've got, like, a list of brands I want to work with. It's not as if, like, I'm just getting emails and being like, yeah, I'll work with you. Like, I'm being, I'm, like, waiting to work with these certain brands. So I'm really excited that this brand from Korea wants to work with me. Stop it. Well, I'm gonna put you on charge and then we're gonna go to the Pure Soul event later. I am gonna wear this top because you have to wear something blue. I'm sure you don't have to, but like they said so to wear something blue. And this is the only blue thing I have here. Everything else is in my washing basket ready for my mum to do it when I go home. Um, so yeah, that's why I've got this top on again. I've just left my accommodation and realized that I've left my camera inside. So you're gonna have to be on my phone tonight. But I promise you I will show you what's going on. That's so annoying because I literally charged it for tonight, but if you win some you lose some, I'll show you on my phone. I'm in Westfield, but I have no idea where it is or where I'm going, it's huge. So this isn't the biggest lane. Hi guys! It is a lot later now. It's actually 11.35. The event was just very like full on and it was really crazy. This guy called Matt Randon, I don't know how to actually pronounce his last name, Randon? I don't know. Um, he started following me a couple days on Instagram but like I'd obviously seen him everywhere before that. Like you guys probably all know him. Anyway, I thought he was American and I'm sure you guys all think he is American too. He's not. He's Italian, but he lives in London. Anyway, so a couple days ago, he started following me. I was like, oh, like literally fangirled my mouth. I was like, mom, look, he's just started following me. Um, anyway, he started following me back. He like messaged me, like complimenting my eyebrows or something. I was like, oh my God, thank you. This was like yesterday, first time we'd ever spoken. He walked into the event and was like, oh my God, Millie. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> um, and yeah, he was really, really nice. And we just kind of clicked and got on. Um, and he's just so like out there and confident. Like I wish I had the confidence to just go around and be like, hey guys, is this what we're looking at? Like it was just so funny. I've got a goodie bag. Oh, it's so cute. The thing I was most excited about with the goodie bag was the goodie bag itself. Um, yeah, I'll show you some of the stuff. I finally got this kombucha toner, although I thought it was brown. And this is indeed white. I don't know if you can see, it's literally white. So that's very interesting. I don't know if it goes white after sun exposure, if it goes brown after sun exposure, or whether I just got the wrong one. It is so cute, it's like a little wonky little man. I stole two little water bowls because <laughs> they're expensive. I got this, which I'm excited about. I haven't opened it yet, it's the Royal Complexion Hyaluron Skin Essence. Super excited about her. And uh, we got a lot of Claire's. I don't know how to pronounce it. Claire, Claire's, Claire's. This is a freshly juiced vitamin E mask. I love how it's like a little tree ornament. There's a lot of these little tree ornaments. This is me and Matt. I'm sure you recognize him to be honest. Queen, that is going on my pin board. We did rock, paper, scissors, and I told him I was gonna win, and I won. Oh, because there was only one picture. I didn't even reference why we were doing rock, paper, scissors to decide who could take that home. And then I got the Claire's Freshly Juiced Vitamin Drop. Again, another hanging one. And then I got, this one's also a hanging one, Midnight Blue Youth Activating Drop. And then this is the Midnight Blue Calming Cream. Beautiful packaging. And then we were given a £50 voucher, and with that £50 voucher, I got the Dr. Curacol Kombucha Tea Essence and the Snell Mucin Cosrx for my mum because she wanted a top up. That was literally both, like, that just came to £50. Like, I thought I'd be able to get more, but I don't know. And then this little sponge. Everyone uses the powder puffs lately. But yeah, the thing I was most excited for was this gorgeous bag. So yeah, thank you very, very, very much, Pure Soul, for inviting me to the opening. I don't know if I got that many clips on my phone, but it was like, you couldn't really speak in there, like it was so loud. 
but it was beautiful. It was an amazing night. I really enjoyed myself, made a new friend, met some cool people. So thank you very, very much for the invite. <sighs> anyway, I did have a little bit of a stressful evening. Um, to be completely honest, there is a creator that is copying all of my videos. They are currently on Accutane and in the past two, three weeks since they found my account have just all of a sudden healed their acne naturally and are literally copying my videos word for word. Like when you guys know, like when I post videos being like clear skin tips and then it's like a screenshot of my notes and like there's like paragraphs copied, like everything has just been copied. Um, and even like when there are videos of me like recommending certain skincare, she's literally gone and screenshot my video and accidentally green screened it instead of finding like the original um so yeah i've been really upset about that tonight especially because like with my content it's so important to me that people can actually help their skin when they don't have access to medication or if they don't want to go on medication like i don't and she's on medication and i know she is because i someone commented on one of her videos a while ago because i've been i've been aware of her account for a while because it's been very similar to mine um someone commented how did you clear your skin and she replied it's all accutane and she's since deleted all those comments and and that was literally like two weeks ago if that probably a week ago and now she's healed her acne naturally but i i think she's actually still on accutane because she was a week or two ago so <laughs> You know um so yeah i'm currently trying to figure out what to do i've contacted her today she told me i don't know what you're talking about and i had to send her um like proof like this is what you've done like why are you acting as if you haven't done it and like when it's like one video a couple of videos like we all get that trends are around like people make mistakes but like she's copying the whole philosophy of my page several people have sent it to me which is why i was so aware of it um and it's just really disappointing to see from a young girl that you're trying to get success from something that isn't actually authentic to you and kind of bringing me down in the process of it because it's making me second guess my content because people are copying it so yes that is my little rant of the evening um obviously won't be posting that anywhere else because no one watches this um but yes i need to take my makeup off and i need to go to sleep good morning good morning it's friday morning i'm just about why do i look um isn't this giving viking why does it look so anyway anyway I'm just about to go into Central because I want to basically get my outfit that I'm wearing now, but like cuter. Like I want like a nice fluffy jumper, I want some comfy trousers, mostly for tomorrow's event. Um, so as I said, tomorrow's the Free Soul Cozy Girl Walk, but I didn't actually know like what was happening until they sent us the details this morning. So it's like we're having like drinks and stuff at it's called curve club um it's near like short it's in between like shoreditch and islington in east london looks really really nice i think it's like a members only exclusive club and like we're gonna be there so we have to like sign this document saying like if we die like it's okay i was like right okay normal um but yeah so we're having like drinks and like hot chocolates and stuff we're going on a walk and then we're having brunch which i didn't know then after brunch there's going to be a guest speaker on a panel i really want to know who this guest speaker is going to be but yeah it's like it's normally i wear layers but because we're going to be inside outside inside outside i kind of just want like a jumper this jacket can take it off do you know what i mean i think you're getting an oliver bonus jumper just because i got one for my mum for her birthday I've got some Oliver Bonus stuff for gifts and stuff and I really like it all. Good morning everyone. I have just gotten ready for the event. 
Um, I think there's a blurring filter on. I want you to see my real skin. This is a white head and I don't like her. But anyway, I am ready for the event. I keep trying to make sure that it's blended down my neck, but like no one's gonna be able to see it anyway. Um, but yeah, my I just used some Korean skincare this morning that I used last night. And I mean, the gl like you cannot see how glow I am in person right now, but like it looks like I'm sweating but I don't actually own a powder. And then like, this is the only setting spray I've got and it's the Glow Milk Mini Mist. I don't know if I've said it, it's Saturday morning. Um, it's five to nine, the event starts at 10. So I've got a feeling Kat's probably messaged me. Oh, yes she has. <laughs> so I do need to get going, but I will bring you along with me. I charged you overnight, you're on full charge. I'll show you as much as I possibly can. But also, I don't even know what jacket I'm wearing. Cause like, I don't know what's gonna go with this. I'm assuming I'm just gonna put on my Uggs because it will give cozy girl walk vibes. So I've got my Uggs. It's just the outfit. Oh, I think I need to ring my mum and ask. Let me open my window. It's getting a bit hot in here. Oh, oh hey, it's not replying to me. I haven't eaten anything. I haven't taken my supplements. I need to do that. I'll take them with milk, so I'm taking them with some calories. Got my Omega-3. Probiotic. Moku Vukumen. gloves but yeah i've got to go now but you're coming with me anyway that's what we're gonna have to be quick hello everybody we, we've arrived um we're at the curse club don't think i've got any storage need to get my camera out just taking off my underlayer because it's really hot and now we're going to go and mingle make some friends okay bye On the walk, on the hot girl, on the hot, hot, hot girl, cold walk. <laughs> hey, the rainy girl walk. <laughs> <laughs> right, this is all of the selection. They've got to glue to frequently. Like, yay! It's cold. They really catered for the celiacs today. Oh my god, I could literally put five of those in my mouth right now. So we just got our goodie bag. Oh, that's my top. We got some, what did we get? We got some collagen gummies. We got this beautiful palette. I'll show you it later. Mm, that's a bit concerning. Got a little shaker. Oh, we got, oh, where is it? Oh, is this mine? We got a little candle. I, I believe, are we leaving now or not? I think we might mingle. We're at a terrarium shop. My nose is running from the cold. Oh, are they expensive? 500 pounds? Is it a bonsai tree? No, look. Oh, you can get the friends. Oh, that looks like, does that look like things that are frozen? Basically just on the tube now. We went to Brick Lane. But yeah, we're leaving now. Goodbye. Hi guys, I am back from the event now. It is half past six. Um, 
me and Kat were just around Brick Lane. We went to the Naomi, Naomi, La Vivi and Olivia Grace Herring like store. And they're doing a pop-up at the moment. So we went to that in Brick Lane. Went to, what was it called? Just like the vintage stuff in Brick Lane. Got a little juice. I got a little ginger juice. Um, went through Spitalfields, which was really nice. They had like a market. And then headed home. I think I'm seeing Kat this week to go to the gym. Because she's a gym girl. She knows what she's doing. And I do not know what I'm doing. I wouldn't be surprised if there's enough content in this vlog for me to just post it. And then do a separate vlog of next week. Which would kind of be ideal. Because um, I'd love to be able to post it tomorrow. Um, but I'm not putting too much pressure on myself to edit and stuff. Because I have actually got a lot of exams and stuff this week. To be honest, whether I'm editing or not, I'm probably not going to revise. Just because that's the last thing I really want to be doing. Sorry, mum. But yeah, uh, I don't know if I showed you the goodie bag. Where have I put stuff? Oh, it's there. I'll just quickly run you through what we got in the goodie bag. We got a lovely free soul little candle. It smells really nice. It says free soul on it. Gorgeous. Got a shaker. You guys know I've got about 10 of these, but I can always give them away. Did get some collagen gummies, which I have actually never tried, um, but I'm going to put them in my box. My I've literally got a box here of stuff to give to my mum um and that's not even all of it <laughs> and then the most exciting thing for me was this me like m-i-i -I, dreamscape palette they've never done anything like this as far as i'm aware in their little gift boxes but it's gorgeous so these four are eyeshadows and then this is a bronzer and this is a highlighter but they are absolutely absolutely gorgeous so i'm so excited about that the shade names are so cute sun drenth paradise euphoria warmth unleashed solar oh my god there's a fly in here not today um it was just such a nice day like i didn't really film any of the panel but there was a panel with these four girls i can't remember all of their names to be honest um but i like recognize all of their faces in particular, Zoe Antonia was speaking on the panel and I have watched her for years. I followed her for years. She is the first person that I saw using Free Soul. That's the way I was introduced into the brand. Oh my God, there's literally a fly in here. Um, I used her discount code before I then became an affiliate myself and now I'm an exclusive brand affiliate. Like, it's just a real full circle moment. And we spoke and she was really nice. She's really short. I did not expect her to be so short. Like cute little tiny woman but yeah all of these women just had the most emotional stories and it was just ah uh, i wish i could do it all over again the free soul events i always leave being like pinch me like it doesn't matter how big or small the event is the people there is what makes it the free soul community is literally just like a bunch of girls that are aware of their health, that have maybe gone through things with their health and are working with this brand. Like all of us are on social media working with this very niche brand. So we all just get each other. Like we, like everyone in that community loves this brand. Like I like Jess who does like the marketing and not marketing, that's not what she does. But like she's in contact with like all the affiliates and she's like the community gal. Um, she got upset and as soon as like Jess got upset I was like crying <laughs> I just I love that brand so much um and I think especially in like the influencer space when there's a brand that someone works with all the time always posting like their discount code I really understand how sometimes people can think like oh they're just in it for the money like no and like this might sound really strange for me to say I don't know but like I get emails all the time for brands and like brands who would pay a lot but if they don't align with me and my audience I'm never going to work with them but I would work with Free Soul for literally nothing because I know that their products are amazing especially for my audience and people that have hormone imbalances and the girlies and just I don't know so it's just I love that brand I will love that brand till the day I die and there are so many of the girls there that have been through similar struggles and it's just really easy to bond with everyone. So yeah, I'm just feeling very grateful and very happy, very inspired, very heard. Because I feel like 
when you're going into a room with these girls that have had these health problems and are also on social media have the same struggles with social media that you do because obviously it's my job like it's just very like oh my god I'm not the only one that feels like this um anyway this is like a real wrong real wrong a real long ramble um but yeah I'm just I'm feeling like ah but yeah, I have got a busy week next week, so I might do a separate vlog of that, but I'm not really sure at the moment. Yeah, this could be the end. If it is, thank you so much for watching. Give a little thumbs up, a little like, a little subscribe. Because um, I'm really trying to grow this community. I love chatting. I don't know if you can tell. I'm quite a chatter. Um, yeah, all of my links, all my discount codes, everything is always in the description. Thank you so much to Free Soul for having me today. And thank you so much to Pure Soul for also having me and thank you very much to lush and brow lab for doing my eyelashes and brows this week and i think that is everyone um i'm really excited for when i get home next monday obviously it's monday in two days but the next monday because i have got the most insane pr packages like i was crying on the phone like my mum was showing me these pr packages i think i might have already spoken about this but I was literally crying, like, I cannot believe, like, Space NK sent me stuff, Space NK, like, it's just, oh, I will never get over it, I will never get over it, I got a stocking, anyway, I'm not going to tell you too much about it, because I will film a separate unboxing video, because I just, I cannot thank the brands enough that take the time to send me things, like, little me, little me, little tiny me, when I just, I don't know, I just want to help people to get their skin better, you know? I don't want people to go through what I went through. And I get sent little things along the way. Like, it's just, I don't know, it's a crazy... I don't know, it's just crazy to me. But yeah. So, I will just say, I don't know if I said, but this jumper is from Oliver Bonus, just because loads of people asked me on my Instagram today. And these linen trousers that I've been wearing all day are from Stradivarius. And the Uggs that I wore aren't actually Uggs, they're from White Fox. Um, and the jacket I wore is from Zara, but I got it from Vinted. Um, I think that's everything. Oh, and my little heart earrings are from Amazon. But yeah, I think that's everything. And this is from my don't know, it was in Copenhagen. <laughs> but yeah, so I will see you in my next video. Love you so much, so, so much. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you soon, bye.